Hello and welcome to Gordon Guitar. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like artists like Ty and such. And this time we actually have Ty Virtus here with the new song called Solamente. So this one is a fun song to play and especially if you like um, finger picking. Uh, you will have this cool melody going round and round through the entire song pretty much in the same way. Or you can also combine it with a simple strumming pattern. So we'll look at both things here. To start with, capo set here on the fourth fret. That will be the easiest scenario for us. So with that, we have three different chords to go over first, and then we will look at the notes and the melody. So let's start with the chords. The first one will be F major seven. So that is third on G, second on G, first on B, and open E. Next chord is C. So that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. And the final chord will be a variation of B minor. So it's very simple, like that. Okay, so it's just one finger here on the second fret A, and then the rest down below will be open. So open D, open G, open B, and open E. All right, so there we have the chords, the F major seven, the C, and the B minor. All right, and um, we will look at the strumming pattern first to begin with. So we have that part over with the chords and the strumming. So this is mainly a finger picking song, but if it's uh, like not that exalting to learn all notes right now, you can uh, play this with a strumming pattern. It will work fine that as well. So let's look at the strumming pattern now. We will grab this F major seven first. That's the first chord. And one strumming round will be down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up. Okay, so that's a long run, uh, round there. So it goes like this. So down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up. So the clap comes and imagine that there is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, four times like this, down, ups. Then the clap will be the third down. Okay, so down, up, down, up, and here comes the clap on the third down, up, and then down, up. So you're gonna play with the chord progression F major seven, two strong rounds, then you shift to C and play one round, and then to B minor and play one round. So it goes like that through the entire song. So with this chord progression and this strumming pattern, it will sound like this. the chord and the strumming parts now to the fun part here the finger picking okay so it's of course based upon the same chords now in the same order F major C and B minor so let's take a look at the F major parts again I can just mention that this melody will go into pretty much two melody rounds and the second round will just differ in two different notes so it's very very similar so um yeah it's basically one round but i will show you what the difference in the second round so let's start now with the f major seven the best scenario here is to actually hold the chord as it is so grab that f major seven chord you're gonna play this part first okay so hold the chord and then you're gonna play third on d Second on G, first on B, then back to second on G and third on D. So that's the first start here. You go pretty much down D, G, B, G, D. And 
and then comes this open E. You have to remember this note because this note will be different than in the next round. So it's open E in this first round, then second G and third D. And then comes the second and last note that differs from this round to the second round, and that is the first fret B string. Then you go to the second G, third D, and open D. Okay, so that is pretty much the hardest part of this melody. So we'll repeat that, that is the F major part. We'll go from the beginning again. Third on D, second on G, first B, second on G, third D. Then comes the open E, the second on G, third D, then the first B, second on G, third D, and open D. So, like this slowly. So again, I am want to emphasize these two notes that are different from this first round to the next second round. And the notes will be the one on the open E first and then on the first B. All right, let's move on to the next grip. Now we are at the C chord. So grab the chord as it is. You're going to play this part. very easy you hold the chord as it is and then it's third on a second on D then first B open G second on D and back to third on a so it's almost that you go from the a down to B and back again almost so again we repeat third a second D then first B open G, 2nd D, and 3rd A. And then you shift to the next final chord, if that's the B minor, and you follow the exact same pattern as you play in the C, so that will be like this. So you're gonna play 2nd on A, open D, open B, open G, open D, and finally second A. Okay, so this first round I'm gonna play for you slowly from the beginning till the end. second round now like I mentioned now we have just two notes difference from this first round and these two notes are in the F major chord so it will be the same start here to this point and then in the first round we had open E now we have the third E okay so you need to add the third E with a little pinky here and then you play the rest same, second on G, third on D, and now comes the second note that differs. The first round we have the first B, and this time we have the open E. And then it continues in exactly the same way, second G, third D, and so on till the end of this round. So, like I mentioned, only two notes difference here and these two notes in the second round are the third E and open E. So this round sounds like this from the beginning to the end.
So there you have Ty Verda's song called Solamente. Fun song to play. And once you get these notes, it really, it's, yeah, it's uh, fun and entertaining for yourself to play and perhaps for others to listen to. So good luck with this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please thumb up and see you soon. Play tuned.